So tell me about this preaching series. Um, I know that you've interviewed several preachers, mm -hmm. pastors across the country. Including yourself. <laughs> right, thank you. What is the genesis and the vision behind this preaching leg African American preaching legacy series? It started when I had uh, Jeremiah Wright come here, and it, it dawned on me, it's, it's crazy to have him come here and not do an interview with him. So now I gotta, well, what questions are you gonna ask him, and how are you gonna approach this? And I decided that I did not want to do any questions on um, the whole Fox News creation about his sermons and taking them out of context and all that. I wanted people to see him as the preacher, as the pastor preacher mm -hmm. that I knew. So I kind of shaped the questions. For example, I asked him, uh, when was the time that you thought that God really used you uh, mightily in preaching? And he told the story about being in Cuba and having this woman as an interpreter and he preached five nights and she interpreted on the last night mm -hmm. when he opened the doors of the church. She came out of her interpreter's role, came down wow. and gave her life. That was for him. Mm -hmm. Now, he's been to Hampton twice, right. you know, I mean, all over the place. But that, because that at, at the heart, he's a pastor. Right. At heart, he's ministering to people. Now, now God takes the ministry and blows it up and blows us and blows you up. And, but at the heart of it, mm -hmm. at the very core of it, you're just trying to do God's will. Oh, you got a little you call you and, and, and <laughs> preach the gospel. You're not That's trying right. to become Dr. Gina Marcia Stewart. <laughs> that happens. Right. Because God. By the grace of God. Exactly. Yeah. Who you really are mm -hmm. is a person trying to be faithful to your call. Right. Right. Trying to, and a, often a pastor, trying to help people and serve people. And so I kind of designed the series so that some of the people that I've known across my years of ministry. Um, for, the second one was Otis Moss Jr., for example, right after Trump was elected. And he was here for the PhD program. Well, it makes sense to have Otis Moss Jr. up here and not interview him. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we did an Otis Moss interview, and then it hit me. So much of our genius goes to the grave. Right. And um, maybe we could have an archiving role where people could just share as people, you know. We have victories, we have defeats. We have glorious preaching opportunities. And sometimes we don't know, you know, you can be so hurt in this thing, it takes Jesus to stand you up <laughs> on Sunday morning in your own church. That's right. Folk don't hurt you. Right, right? that's right. I, I've been there, I've, yeah. been, I've been hurt. Yeah. And I got up with whatever piece of sermon I could muster. <laughs> it wasn't my best piece. Right. But the fact that I had the audacity to stand there and still mm -hmm. preach, and I wanted the audience to capture a whole sense behind some of these um, celebrated, rightfully so, pastors and preachers and uh, in hopes that uh, another pastor or another preacher or a younger preacher might be encouraged, might um, strengthen their own preaching, might be able to get past, um, or you know, people say stuff like, um, you don't come to little churches, do you? Right, yeah. I was a little church, what are you talking about? Right. I ain't forgot that. Right. I started with 35 members. Right. I used to, Jeremiah Wright brought more Trinity members to my installation than I had members. Mm -hmm. They fill a place, and my little members over here, right? Right. So I said, uh, my analogy for it is, you know, we used to be a little dinghy out there in the water. These big ocean line of churches <laughs> would come back, we, our little dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I, yeah. I come by schedule. Mm -hmm. No, no, I never forgot. I uh uh. So uh, my hope with all of this stuff is to that we to help people see that God has done amazing things, but we're just like every other pastor trying right. trying to be faithful.